we have four different expressions here. What I want you to do is think about which of these expressions are equal to negative 2 thirds. Which of these are equal to negative 2 thirds? And I encourage you now to pause this video and try this on your own. So let's go to this first expression right over here. I have 1 ninth, and I'm going to add to that 5 ninths. So how many ninths am I going to have? Well, I had 1 ninth, now I'm adding 5 ninths, so I'm going to have 6 ninths. If I have one of something and I have five more of that same something, so in this case that something is a ninth, one ninth plus five ninths is six ninths. Now, can we simplify this in any way? Well, both six and nine are divisible by three, so let's divide them both by three to try to get this fraction in a simpler form. Six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. So this is 2 thirds, while what we're trying to get to is negative 2 thirds. So these are not equal. This expression does not equal, not equal negative 2 thirds. So I'll write no for that one. Now let's go to this, this green expression right over here, give myself a little bit more real estate to work in. Now we have negative 1 6 plus negative 1 half. Now we can view this as being the same thing as, just to clarify, right now the negative is in front of the entire 1 6, the negative is in front of the entire 1 half. But this is the same thing as negative 1 over 6 plus negative 1 over negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 half is the same thing as negative 1 divided by 2, is one way to think about it. And the whole reason why I did this is so we can simplify what the, neg the negatives are right now only in our numerator. So whenever we add two fractions, we want, to have the, we want to have the same denominator. And we see that 6 is already a multiple of 2, so we could leave this first fraction the way it is. We can rewrite it as negative 1 over 6. And then the second fraction, we can write it as something over 6. Well, to go from 2 to 6, we have to multiply by 3. So let's also multiply the numerator by 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So if I have negative 1 sixths and I add to that negative 3 sixths, this is going to be negative 1 plus negative 3 sixths, which is equal to negative 4 over 6. Now, let's see if we can simplify it. Both negative 4, I guess we can even say both 4 and 6 are divisible by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. Let's divide them both by 2. And in the numerator, we're left with negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative 2 divided by 3, well, that's the same thing as negative 2 thirds, which is exactly what we're, our, our goal value we're trying to get to. So yes, this thing in green is equal to negative 2 thirds. Now let's go over here. So we have negative 1 third times negative 2. Well, if you multiply a negative times a negative, we're going to get a positive, And we're going to get a positive 1 third times 2. So one way to think about it, this is going to be the same thing as 1 third times 2, which is the same thing. And there's a couple of ways to think about it. If you have a third, and now you're going to, have, you're going to multiply it by 2, you now have 2 thirds. You now have 2 thirds. Another way to think about this is that this is the same thing as 1 third times 2 over 1. And you know that we can just multiply that when we multiply two fractions, so this time we've expressed the 2 as a fraction, we can multiply their numerators. So it's 1 times 2 over the product of their denominators. 3 times 1, which is 2 over 3. So either way you look at it, this goes to positive 2 thirds. A negative times a negative is a positive. So it gets us to, to positive 2 thirds, not negative 2 thirds. So like this first one, no, it does not, it does not, equal, it does not equal negative 2 thirds. Now let's look at this one. Negative 1 third divided by 1 half. So when you divide by a fraction, so when you divide, when you take negative one third, dividing, let me write it this way. So negative one third divided by one half, this is the same thing as negative one third, and let me, let me color code it, just so you see what I'm doing. So let me make that, that green color, let me make this a blue color. So negative one third divided by one half is the same thing as negative one third times the reciprocal of one half. So times times 2 over 2 over 1. 2 over 1. And what is this going to be equal to? 
Well, we, we can assume, instead of just viewing this as negative 1 third, we could view this as negative 1 divided by 3. That might help us keep track of the signs a little bit more. And so if we do, this is, and let me actually, let me write it that way just to make it a little bit clear. Let me write this as, let me write this as negative 1 divided by 3. So our numerator is now going to be, our numerator is now going to be negative 1 times 2. When you multiply two fractions, you just multiply the numerator to get the new, the new numerator. Multiply the two numerators to get the new numerator. And it's over 3 times 1. 3 times 1. And you, know, you normally wouldn't have to do all of these steps, but I'm just doing them to make sure you understand what's going on. And so this is going to be equal to negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 2. And 3 times 1 is positive 3. Negative 2 over 3, well, that's the same thing. That's the same thing as negative 2 thirds. So this one works out. It is equal to negative 2 thirds.